What do we know? Well, we're hearing from analysts that this is perhaps the beginning of Kim Jong-un's push-the-line uh, strategy, uh, of course, following the collapse of that second uh, summit between Kim and Trump in Hanoi, where Trump basically walked away from negotiations. And then, of course, uh, Kim, licking his wounds, has since met with uh, uh, Vladimir Putin. Uh, he has accused the United States of exhibiting bad faith. Uh, and this was almost a foregone conclusion. Now, what we know is there was a live fire exercise Saturday off the east coast of uh, North Korea that potentially included North Korea's first ballistic missile uh, launch. Of course, we're getting some of the evidence from Planet Labs uh, showing satellite image, showing what appeared to be a single missile contrail at the exercise site. South Korea saying Sunday as well that North Korea tested what it called a new tactical weapon as well as artillery that traveled up to 150 miles. Uh, the South Korean presidential uh, spokeswoman condemning uh, the incident, saying it was against the September agreement between the two countries uh, to halt hostile activities. Uh, but still, um, the United States taking a little more of a cautious approach to this, a uh, bit of a muted response. But uh, obviously, Kim Jong-un is uh, still trying to provoke some sort of relief on the sanctions that uh, he did not get from Donald Trump. Yeah, Steve, let's uh, zero in on that a bit more. If the intention of North Korea was to get some kind of a reaction from the Trump administration, it, it hasn't really worked. What has been said so far? Yeah, I think uh, the Trump administration, including Donald Trump, uh, we can bring up the tweet that he put out uh, following the missile test on uh, Saturday. Uh, yeah, pretty muted response from uh, Trump saying, uh, you know, Kim fully realizes the great economic potential of North Korea and will do nothing to interfere or end it. Uh, and also that Kim doesn't want to break his promise uh, to the U.S. president. We also heard from Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, still believes there's an opportunity to get a negotiated outcome as well as getting uh, North Korea to denuclearize. However, again, uh, this is not necessarily a good step in that direction. Uh, Pompeo called it, uh, called the test on Saturday a relatively short-range test that never crossed international boundary. Therefore, it was not a threat, but still very provocative from the North Korean leader.